G'day folks, I'm down at Lake Mawala with my mate Shane Orr. We've been down here all day. Shane Orr is Wangaratta's most well-known firewood collector. If you need firewood, go to Facebook and look for Shane Orr and drop him a line and he will look after you. I've got to give him a free plug folks, because he's given me a free day at Lake Mawala in his boat and he's even let me out fishing. <laughs> now we've had a great day, we've caught one Murray Cod between us, it was a team effort, and we've caught quite a few crayfish. I hope you enjoy this video. Look at that. Look at how I eat that. I reckon if you put that in the slow cooker, I reckon you'd be able to eat it. Alright, here we go. Look here for your roddy. Drop, 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 drop. Excellent. You ready? I'm ready, that's 21 feet. Oh, that's a bit better. There's more, there's more crayfish at 21 feet than what there is at uh, 17. Plump, 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 plump. You ready? What about now? What about now? 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 What about now? Now? <laughs> what about now? What about now? Oh, too late. Enough, Dad. Gotta drop the rope up. Right, uh, here you go, the moment of truth. The moment of truth. Are you out of gear? We have a wrap. Oh, look at the size of that. That is an absolute monster. Has to have eggs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be the same female I caught the other day. Could well be. Gee, it's been years since I've seen a crayfish this big. Yeah, full of eggs. I'm going to get a photo of this, actually, just to... Share on my Facebook page and show everyone if that's okay with you, Mr. Orr. Whenever you're ready, mate. I'll tell you, that's who I caught the other day. I'll put it down there, probably. <laughs> <laughs> for the interest of safety. Alright, <laughs> for anybody watching, you see that? That is eggs. When they say the crayfish is in berry, that's what it means. It doesn't matter what size this crayfish is, she is protected and has to be returned. Righto, old girl. I reckon if I put my finger in there, I would possibly lose it. At the very least, end up with a finger full of stitches. Big pregnant female on your bike. Look at it sinking. Isn't it just wonderful? It's gonna catch a fish, it's gonna be that. I reckon. A fluorescent orange bassman. Kind of blends in with your favourite fishing shirt. And your hair. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Lake Marwala delivers the goods. I don't think he's gonna be 55 centimetres though. We've got, you've got the mat on the side of the baby, we'll give him a quick measure. Come hither. Hey, yeah, look at that. A nice little Murray cod, trolled in the timber at Lake Mawala on a second, second biggest, I don't know what number it is, it will be 75 mil Wilson Slickback. Righto, 49 centimetre cod. Get back in your snag. Thank you very much. Yeah, what all be your tea. Righto, this is the this is the super net. This is the good one, the round one. 
There goes some dude in his boat. He's probably thinking, he's that guy in that big Russian hat. I've seen him somewhere. <laughs> Oh, something this one, mate. Heavy as hell. Oh, it's got a dead shag or something in it. Oh. <laughs> if it hasn't got eggs, it's probably still too big. Yep, in berry. Doing any this time. You only get a photo of him because didn't get a good one before. Got a good photo of me. Excellent. I'll get a photo of you with it. I don't know whether it's true or not. All I know is that I am the master. Look at this. Please be male. I don't like your chances. <laughs> oh, she nearly got my finger then. Look at that, number three. Dirty great big female with eggs. Absolutely beautiful. That's great to see all these females, isn't it? Well, it means that people are doing the right thing and putting them back. That's exactly what it means, Shane. Thank you very much to the people that are doing the right thing. We'll catch one that big in a minute. Its head will be in one net and its tail will be in the other. <laughs> right. Eh? Why is it that we're catching all of these female eggs, female crays, but we're not catching any undersized crays? In the words of Professor Julius Sumner Miller, why is this so? <laughs> I'm officially, unofficially about to catch the first crayfish of the day without cackleberries. I think the real word is row, but I could be wrong. I just call them eggs or cackleberries or bum nuts. Righto, here we go. Can we have our first multi crayed net with more than one? Far out! Oh, Bloody hell! That is insanely big! Another berry. <laughs> That's another crayfish with eggs, but look at that! Alright, have a look at that big old girl. wonder how old she is. That easy. I can barely get my hand around that. So many females. Tell you what, it'd be good to be a male cray living down there. You'd have lots of choice. You want to check with your own nets? What's that? You want me to do it? Sure. That's fine with me. I love pulling them up. Righto, here we go. Here we go. Pulling up the old bike rim. Feels kind of heavy. <laughs> they just keep getting bigger. Would you look at that? Can we measure this one before we throw it back? I am just curious to know how long it is. Full of eggs. But, yeah, full of eggs. Have a look at the size of that crayfish. 12 centimetres measured from its eye to the edge of its tail. Humongous female crayfish. And look at these spikes. That is how they have evolved over the years to keep them safe from predators. And it doesn't always work. Right. Here we go. Can we catch our first undersize or our first male cray? I've finally caught an undersized cray. Goodness me. <laughs> Look at that. Finally a male crayfish with no eggs but undersize. You can see the male has this little lump on his bottom legs just here. 
the females have that on the second set of legs down from the top. That's how you tell them apart other than the eggs. Did you know that? Yeah. yeah. There you go, you do now. You did anyway. On your bike. Right. I was going to say there's nothing in this, it's too light. Just it. Yeah. I was going to say there's nothing in this one, there's not enough weight. A couple of you came out the same year the dollar coin did. 1984. I remember, before then it was only one dollar notes. And then for a while we had two dollar notes. And one dollar coins. <laughs> I reckon there's something in this. Wasn't this the one I said that last time though and there was nothing in it? It just feels rather... If you, oh, look out, oh, see that big one fall down then? Oh, he's on the wrong side of the net. Who tied that in? Right, oh, here we go. Do you want to measure that or is it too small? That's way too small. Is it? It's been years since I've been crying. Look at, there was three crazy in that net. And the biggest one got away. Right, well that one can go back. Alright. Alright. Eh? Keep him calm. Calm your farm. Yeah, nice. No, What's yeah, the top one? 80, is it? Nine. He's nine? Yeah, he's about nine. He's got to be nine, doesn't he's he? He's got to be ten. Do they? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, there you go. I wouldn't even know. I know he was smaller than this. Look at that. That's the closest we've come all day to catching a legal sized crayfish without eggs. He's about half a centimetre undersized. All right, on your bike, like the rest of them. Oh, better, better tie the meat here. Shane's not came undone. <laughs> Someone's not did. I don't think it was yours. <laughs> okay, HN Shane or PhD. All right, uh, here we go. Oh, this doesn't feel heavy. Well, it does, yeah, it does a bit. One little undersized crawdad. Now in America, they, some parts of America call them crawdads, some call them crawfish, some call them crayfish. But here, they are a Murray cray. Spiny freshwater crayfish. Or Murray crayfish. And that's a little baby, and he's probably got four or five years before his legal size. Right, hey, back in the drink? Right, on your bike. I forgot to say it that time, I've said it every other time.